In our last food chain feature, we learned about producers like plants and how critical they are in the food chain. We also did some exploring to see how many producers exist all around us. But what happens when producers like plants or the things that eat them, called consumers, die? They decompose or break down into soil. But those producers and consumers don't just turn into soil on their own. Another critical part of the food chain steps in, decomposers. Decomposers are the FBI, fungi, bacteria, and invertebrates, that is, that help break things down into soil. Worms and mushrooms are common examples. So let's see what decomposers we can find today. A great place to look for decomposers, of course, would be in your compost pile if you have one, or under fallen logs and other kinds of things that you can see that are breaking down in the forest. Let's see some of the decomposers I was able to find in my backyard. First is one of my favorites, blue stain fungus. This fungus is helping turn this log into soil. When the conditions are right, it'll make little blue mushrooms. Here's a slug looking for some plant debris to break down into soil. If you ever see a mushroom growing on a tree, it probably means that some part of that tree is dead and is likely to fall down someday soon. Lots of FBI have been at work on this snag. What decomposers do you think helped break down this birch tree? Decomposers are so important to the food chain that some people, like me, actually farm them. You might have a pet dog or cat, but I have hundreds of pet worms. I feed them scraps from the producers I cook with, like carrot tops and garlic skins. Then every few months I collect their castings, also known as poop, and add it to my house plants and garden to help them grow. What do you think the world would look like without decomposers? Would we be walking on the bodies of dinosaurs? Hmm. Thanks for watching today's food chain feature all about decomposers.